Good morning, my dear students. Hope you all are keeping well, staying safe at home. Today, I am back here to teach you a new lesson in maths. And the name of the lesson is Shapes. The name of the lesson is Shapes. Before I start teaching you with shapes, my dear students, I wanted to tell you about lines. I wanted to tell you about lines because lines are very important if we have to draw shapes. So first we have to know about the lines. Now, my dear students, you could see a standing line, a standing line. And this line is also called as vertical line, vertical line. Now, my dear students, when your teachers have started teaching you how to draw or how to write alphabets, they might have informed you about these lines. They have taught you about these lines. Now, my dear students, you could see a tilted line. A tilted line. That is a slanting line. This is a slanting line. And this is a horizontal line. This is a horizontal line. We call this line as sleeping line also. Now my dear students, you all know we can draw numbers or we can write numbers and even alphabets with the help of these lines. Now I'll give you an example. Now just see my dear students, if you have to draw H, if you have to draw H, so you will use this standing line, you will draw two standing lines, and you will draw a sleeping line in between. Then you can make the alphabet H. In the same way, my dear students, if you have to write V, alphabet V, you all know V for VAP. So you will use the slanting line. You will use the slanting line. You can just see one slanting line and other slanting line. In the same way, my dear students, if you have to draw Z, if you have to draw Z, you will use sleeping line. Then my dear students, again a slanting line. Again a sleeping line. So my dear students, with the help of these lines, you, we can draw alphabets. We can write alphabets. Even we can write numbers. Now I'll give you an example of a number. Now you can write one with the help of this standing line. We can write one with the help of this standing line. Now if we have to write number seven, so what will you do? You will draw a sleeping line and you will draw a slanting line. You can make number seven. You can write Number 7. So my dear students, now have you understood that with the help of these lines, we can draw or we can write alphabets as well as numbers. Now my dear student, one more is there. That is curved. That is curved lines. You could see curves over here. Curved lines. Now my dear students, curved lines. If you have to draw or if you have to write the alphabet D, so you will use this curve. Now, with, uh, if you have to draw alphabet D, what you will do? You will draw a standing line and then a curve. See? In the same way, my dear students, if you have to draw S, you will. If you have to draw C, you will use the curved line. So, have you understood? We can write alphabets as well as numbers. We can write alphabets as well as numbers. So my dear students, have you understood now the concept of these different types of lines? Now my dear students, with the help of these lines, I'll teach you about the different shapes. You all are familiar about the different, different types of shapes. Now with the help of these lines, we'll get to know about the different types of shapes. Dear students, the first shape is of a square. The first and the foremost shape is square. You could see there are four lines. The square is formed with four lines and all the four lines are equal. All the four lines are equal. There are four corners. You could see one side, the other, this is the third one and this is the fourth one. So a square is 
of equal length and breadth. The square is of equal size. This, all the sides are equal. Now my dear students, I will give you an example. You could see a box over here. You could see a box. Now you could see over here. This box is also having four sides and all the four sides are equal. All the four sides are equal. Equal. In the same way, my dear students, you could see this is a paper napkin. You could see a paper napkin. All the sides of these paper napkin is also same. Is also same. All the sides are equal. In the same way, my dear students, you could see, see over here. This is a box. This is a box. And all the sides of these box are also equal. All the sides are equal. Over here, the opposite sides. The opposite sides of this rectangle are also equal. These sides are equal and these two sides are equal. It is also formed with four lines only. But these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. The opposite sides of the rectangle are equal. Now my dear students, I will show you something. Can you see over here? What is this? This is a color box. You all love to do coloring. So, my dear students, you could see this is also in a rectangular shape. This is also in a rectangle shape. You could see over here, these two sides are equal. These two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. So, my dear students, the opposite sides of these box are equal. You could see over here. In the same way, my dear students, this is a purse. You all have seen your mama keeps money in this. So, my dear student, this is also in a rectangular shape. This is also in a rectangular shape. Now, you could see over here, these two sides are of the equal length and these two sides are of the same length. So, my dear students, a in a rectangular objects, the two sides are equal. The two opposite sides are equal. Now, my dear students, come to the third one. This is a triangle. This is a triangle. Now, my dear students, you could see it is formed of two slanting line and a sleeping line. You could see two slanting line and a sleeping line. And you could see there are three corners. There are three corners. It is formed with three lines. It is formed with three lines. Now, I want you to give you an example of a triangle. You all love to drink fruity. It is also in a triangular shape. You, have, you used to purchase that triangle. Try a pack of the fruitina, triangle one. So that is also in a triangle shape. Even you love to eat pizza. You all love to eat pizza. I am giving an example of a pizza. You can see over here. The pizza is also divided in this way, in this way, in a triangular way. In a triangular way. Pizza is also divided either into four pieces or eight pieces. So you could see pizza. Pizza section is also Divided like this only. You could see. In the same way, I wanted to give you an example. Now, you could see over here. You could see over here. This is a cloth hanger. Your mama keeps cloths on this. This is also triangular in shape. Triangular in shape. So, my dear students, can you see over here? This is a plate and this is circle in shape. So, my dear students, now the next shape is of circle. The next shape is circle. So, circle, you could see over here, your mama's bangle is a circle in shape. In the same way, circle is circle in shape. The coins which you use to go and give and bring some things. You buy chocolates, toffees, you take coins and go and bring some things, whichever you think uh, you like. So, all these are Circle in shape. Now my dear student, can you see over here? What is this? This is a tiffin box, a lunch box. You used to bring tiffin in this. So my dear student, it is also in circle shape. It is also in circle shape. So my dear students, this is a circle shape. It has no corners and lines. It has no corners. Now my dear students, the last shape is oval. Oval. You all love to eat egg. Some of you love to eat egg. Egg is oval in shape. This egg doesn't have any corners and lines. My dear students, 
I hope this lesson is very much clear to you and you can draw these shapes in your copy and even you can draw houses or different types of sceneries with the help of these shapes. Now I wanted to give you an example. Now my dear students just see over here. With the help of this triangle you can make a beautiful house you could see. Now which shape am I using? I am using a square. Then I will be using I will be using a rectangle. Then again a square. With the help of this I will make a gate also. So we can draw beautiful houses with the help of these shapes. Even we can draw beautiful sceneries with the help of these shapes.